How's it going everyone? Welcome back. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and tuning in to, to my videos. That's really humbling to me because I posted one video. I didn't think I was going to get any views and then I ended up getting like over 500 views now. I can't even keep track of it. Uh, wasn't expecting that. So I'm really grateful to you guys for supporting me in that way. I uh, appreciate you. If you guys want to follow me on social media, check me out on Twitter at Crypto Slayer, just like my YouTube channel name and you guys can follow me and I'll be, you know, I'm just posting stuff here. This is where you guys can communicate with me uh, easier than on the YouTube comments. And this is more private too if you want to just DM me uh, with any questions or anything like that. By the way, I'm not offering any sort of financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I'm saying in these videos or in anything that I mention on social media is just my own opinion and it's for entertainment purposes only. So, you know, keep that in mind. Do your own due diligence before investing into anything. But today we're going to talk about Cardano. And so I have this crazy prediction, guys. I, I believe that Cardano is going to reach $33 a coin. The reason why I believe that is because we're actually, right now, we just got to a dollar. So we're really close to our all-time high of $1.33. So if you look at the, the coin market cap in January 4th, 2018, right after, right, like basically like two, three weeks after Bitcoin reached its top, uh, ADA, XLM, and XRP. A lot of these top 10 coins ended up reaching their all-time high, which is for for Cardano or ADA is a dollar and 33 cents. So we're literally about 23 cents away from getting there. So Cardano, I still think at this price is is highly undervalued, and I and I believe that it's because we're just reaching, we're literally reaching all-time highs. And look look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin went up to like. You know 20k and then right after 30 40 50 now we're we're at almost at sixty thousand dollars so like i said we're gonna reach sixty thousand which is a 3x from its all-time high if cardano reaches a 3x from its all-time high price right of 133 you're looking at basically almost exactly four dollars so 399 uh like when you go and, and buy like a cheeseburger from burger king that's what's gonna cost you or you go to like mcdonald's and you know you buy uh, like maybe a quarter pounder. I don't know in your state how much it costs, but it's like four to five dollars That's literally gonna be the price of a Cardano here soon So that's why I think you know thirty three dollars is not really so far off when you when you think about the grand scheme of things Like look at everything it, it, like when it matures like this market hasn't even matured when it, once it does mature though uh, We're looking at prices that are you know, obviously above thirty three dollars thirty three dollars Just a good number in my opinion that it just looks good and it's not just that it looks good. I'm also doing some sentiment analysis and looking at what people think, investors, retail investors, and what institutions are saying about cryptocurrencies with uh, Tesla and MicroStrategy actually looking into buying it. And Tesla actually bought up, they, you know, they switched their balances into Bitcoin, right? And then so a lot of companies might do this. So that's why uh, there's these high predictions of Bitcoin reaching 250000 to $400,000. And this is all to do with like the halving meaning that scarcity and demand will create this perfect storm for Bitcoin to go up to those prices of possibly being two hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars. Well then if Bitcoin is gonna reach four hundred thousand dollars and it's operating on old technology, right, proof of work, what about Cardano, which you know it's 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 a cryptocurrency that's proof of stake and it has the Hydra protocol which which is our Boros and it's like super quick and efficient and it's just it's it's enabled to to work well with basically smart contracts and and decentralized apps so it can essentially replace ethereum it's, it's just another alternative to ethereum if you don't want to experience those high gas prices and you want more reliability and just just quicker um you know confirmations and stuff then this is the way to go and this company is amazing i actually love their white paper i love like their mission and stuff and it's one of the only projects that i think that uh can can do this whole like decentralized you know DeFi thing and do it better than ethereum i, f I feel like in my opinion that and maybe flare networks flare networks is different because flare networks is trying to bring DeFi to any project it should, like like uh, Dogecoin, and I'll talk about that later in this video. As an investor, you should always be looking for opportunities to for grow your income, and and not only that, but put money in your pocket, and to actually be financially free in the future. So that and one of the ways you can do that is by you know investing right now, invest being an early investor into basically the internet 2.0, which is distributed ledger technologies, crypto assets, all that. Um, and in one way, you can create those opportunities in the future for yourself to be financially free is to be able to stake cryptocurrencies right now and, and, and do that as a way to earn passive income at the moment 
which later on could be worth a lot of money. So if, if you know, say for example, you're staking 10,088 coins. So I'm on the staking calculator right now on cardano.org and you're gonna earn about 4.6% on your money. So it's a lot less than, than on Silica. Silica is like 15, 16%, but you gotta keep in mind that there's more people invested in Cardano than there is of Silica. So there's more people staking ADA than Silica. That's why the percentage is lower. Also, the price is higher for ADA. Um, and so obviously when the price goes down, the, the ROI on your staking goes up to offset the price you know, that just dropped. And, and that just, it means that you're getting a solid amount of money for, for uh, you and basically staking it and holding. So that's just one way you can get paid for holding this cryptocurrency. 460 coins a year if you're staking 10,000, it's not bad, especially if you're looking at these high price targets like I am of $33 a coin by the end of, you know, or beginning of 2022. Um, you know, you're looking at 460 uh, coins, that's $15,000 that you could be making uh, per year if you start staking right now. So uh, that's just, you know what what could be possible from doing this and also i've you know if you guys have heard recently legendary rock star gene simmons bought cardano he bought three hundred thousand dollars worth of ada tokens and that that is actually amazing because that just brings a lot of people into it who usually aren't looking into these things like they're more about uh just putting their money into like high yield savings accounts or just contributing to their 401ks uh this is just this is an alternative that he's putting out there on twitter by sharing this information that he did that is just letting us know that he's bullish on it and it just when you're doing your market analysis or sentiment analysis it's just one good way to see that people are still bullish on these projects especially at these high prices because he bought it at 92 cents and it's already at a dollar and ten cents so he's literally up anywhere between 15 to 20 percent on his money meaning that off that three hundred thousand dollar ada investment he made around forty to sixty thousand dollars in profit already so that's amazing. Um, now I'm going to talk about how market caps don't really matter for cryptocurrencies and how uh, it's just a good way to compare that to other coins. So, yeah, market cap doesn't really apply to cryptocurrencies because you could kind of like create a cryptocurrency with uh, one billion tokens and then sell one token to someone for like a dollar. And now you now that coin has a market cap of one billion. You know what I mean? So that's why market cap doesn't really apply to cryptocurrencies like with stocks. But it's still a good way to track, you know, um, to kind of compare with other coins and their market caps. So I don't use it as a like, oh, okay, you know, it has to go to this market cap so that it can be this price. I don't, that's not the way I look at cryptocurrencies. I, the way I view market caps is kind of like, okay, so ADA has a 34 billion market cap. Silica has, look at the market cap of Silica is 1.5 billion. So, so it's a good way to track digital assets and how they've been progressing so far in comparison to the rest of the market and other coins that are around. And seeing how Silica only has a $1.5 billion market cap, obviously that lets us know as investors that there's room for this cryptocurrency to grow in price and, and go higher because if, if Cardano had the potential to go up to to a 34 billion dollar market cap could you imagine when silica gets there uh at 13 cents you know you're, you're definitely talking about a 30x increase in price at least if you're if you're trying to you know use those same market cap rules that applies to stocks with with uh, digital assets you know that's what you would technically be able to get as a result in in, in, a, in a price but look at Do dogecoin though for example you're looking at a coin that has an endless supply. There's no limit to how many of these can be minted, right? How many Doge coins can be minted? And it's a five cent, um, you know, digital asset. Obviously, it's going to be working alongside with the Flare network and stuff because you you will actually be able to to sort of like yield farm with it, you, like you know, basically stake it on the yield uh, uh, using like the Flare uh, token and stuff like that. So that's going to give value to Dogecoin, but I don't know, there, there, there should be a way to limit the amount of um, Dogecoin that there can ever be. Obviously, there's no function that exists for that, but it's still a meme coin that's, that, you know, it's going to have some speculative value. That I think it will obviously go up in, in price. You know, we may see a 50 cent or even a $1 Dogecoin, not financial advice, but we may see that in the near future, uh, especially if, if like if it allows for like yield farming and and staking and all that stuff through the Flirt network, which they've been working on, um, that will give tremendous value to this coin. But look at Silica though. If Silica with like literally 10% of the total supply of uh, Dogecoin, the Dogecoin has almost uh, 130 billion coins in its total supply. 130. And by the way, it has a non. It does just the the max supply doesn't end, so they can mint as many as possible. 
in the future, uh, you know, this could keep growing, you know, so it's inflationary instead of deflationary. Uh, silica, there will only ever be a max supply of 21 billion. So, uh, and, and look at silica, it's only like literally like seven or eight cents more expensive than Dogecoin. So, I, I, you know, that's how I know for sure when you're comparing market caps that silica is more valuable right now and it, it should be at a higher price, at least 20 cents. Silica, in my own opinion, should be 20 to 30 cents right now. That would be a great price for it. You know, we're talking about reaching all time highs in general. But so enough of that. If you, if you watched my previous video on my channel, you guys already know how undervalued silica is. So I don't have to explain this over and over again. You guys already know. So to wrap things up, I, you guys already know my position on Cardano and Silica. I'm very bullish on those two projects, which are going to be competing in the same space because they're, they're very similar. Like Silica and Cardano both offer dApps and also smart contracts, and they're very quick. They're very efficient. They, they, can, they can also prove to be a very great alternative to Ethereum because of its high gas prices and the possibility of Bitcoin reaching 400,000 based on, you know, it reaching the, the top of a bull cycle and being going up parabolically because of demand scarcity and all these other factors, then why wouldn't Cardano, which is operating on better technology, on proof of stake and also Ouroboros Hydra protocol, why wouldn't, you know, Cardano at least go up to $30? And yeah, I know the, the circulating supply is very high, but you have to keep in mind that when the whole world wants to buy these digital assets, which is going to happen soon, the FOMO is going to start to hit harder than anything, then that $30 doesn't seem so far off. And there's people who have, or YouTubers actually, that have higher price predictions than mine, like going up $100, uh, you know, saying that Cardano is going to reach 150 or 130 stuff like that. So mine's pretty conservative when you compare mine to theirs. And I just think uh, I'm, I'm just being conservative. This could happen just due to demand and, and utility. I don't know about any of the conspiracies of, of like, you know, people have also had speculation around other cryptocurrencies like XRP, where they've said that it can go up to 10000 or or $1,000 a coin because, you know, there's conspiracy theories that it could be used in a new financial system and this and that. I don't dig deep into those things. I just look at the fundamentals and do some sentiment analysis before I invest into any cryptocurrencies. And that's what I recommend you guys do. So do your own due diligence before buying into anything or investing your money into anything. You don't want to lose any money. You just want to make sure you buy something that you know is going to have value and it's going to have utility in the future so that you can keep your money there and keep it growing forever. And um, especially if you bought into something good, that's just the whole point of the things. That's just like the mentality of a value investor like you know Warren Buffett has always explained. And that's what an intelligent investor always does is, you know, they research, research and do their due diligence. One more thing that I forgot to mention was the fact that market caps don't matter for cryptocurrency. So definitely Cardano going to going up to thirty three dollars is entirely possible based on that fact. So you don't need to have like a one trillion dollar market cap for it to go up there. It can go up there with less money flowing into Cardano because it's just the way cryptocurrencies are set up it's just way different than stock so yeah that's what i wanted to mention i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did leave a like and comment on it so it helps the youtube algorithm push this video out there to show it to other people and it just helps my channel grow it really helps tremendously and subscribe to my channel hit the bell for notifications so you guys stay updated on future uploads i'm signing out bye